I've got a fantastic recipe for you today. It's definitely a Texas recipe, guys. We are doing fajitas, but we're also doing them with some uh, grilled zucchini squash. It's the way I love to do it. If you are on the Roger Raglan diet, this is one you're going to want to try out, guys. It's a very good recipe. You could use those zucchinis for part of your vegetables during the day. But I'm going to show you a great way to make fajitas, an excellent way to grill up some zucchini squash. So stick around. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I am Chef Johnny, and guys, it's plenty hot. But we're in the outdoor kitchen. We're cooking fajitas today, and those grilled squash that I'm going to show you how to make are fantastic. You can put them in a, in a tortilla. You can put them in a, a lettuce wrap, however you want to do it if you're on that Roger Raglan diet, guys. It's a, something that, that I do regularly when I was on there. And I don't know if you can tell, put a few pounds back on. I am back on the diet again, trying to, to drop a few of the pounds that, that I put on throughout the winter, right? So hey, come in here, let me show you how I season these up, what these outer skirt steaks look like. Guys, this is Texas grass-fed beef from Chapman Beef, and I tell you what, it's, it's an excellent cut of meat, but the outer skirt is much better than the inner skirt. If you get all of outer skirt steaks, you're gonna have the best fajitas you can, you've can you ever had. So look for those outer skirts if you can get them. But come on in here, let me show you what we're gonna do to these, how we get them onto this slow and sear kettle, and how we get them cooked up for our tacos. Now we're gonna get these out of here, and a lot of times when you go to HEB or your local grocery store, and you get your meat, you'll notice that these are about twice as wide as these. They're usually that wide, right? That's the inner. These are the outers. And I tell you what, they still do have some tough skin on them. If you want to come in here and pull all that off, uh, it'll work a little better. Maybe after they've kind of been soaking in the vinegar and everything, because they just kind of seem to soften up. But you can pull some of that off. If you don't want to cook it, a lot of it's going to be gone in the cook. And it will, as you can see, it's just little pieces, not a lot. But you can pull these off of there and get them off. And, uh, you can do it before or after, whatever you like and however you like. And one thing while these are off, I want to show you, and that's the grain. A lot of people think the grain's running along like this, so they want to slice them this way. That's definitely wrong. But you look right here, those grains are going across the short side. So after these are cooked, we're going to cut them off in sections and slice them this way so we go across that grain, and this is going to make it a whole lot more tender. So they're going to be like that. I'm gonna season these up. I'm gonna get them on that kettle, and uh, then we're gonna cook them, and you don't wanna cook them too much, guys. It does not take long at all to cook fajitas. What I'm gonna season these with today is, is some Bowler's uh, Fiesta brand. Guys, my favorite fajita rub by far, if I'm not making my own. But uh, I do have a recipe for my own, and I'll stick that down in the description box, so go look for it, and uh, you can see it in there along with oh, some of my affiliates, and, people I work with, people that sponsor the channel. Um, so you can find that down in the description box also, but just a nice little coating. The marinade has put a lot of flavor in them. Quite honestly, you could cook these uh, just with the marinade. And they would come out very, very good. Put a couple of links for my other fajita videos, right? So you can see how I've done those, but there's that one. I'm gonna fold it up and I tell you, I'll probably end up cutting these in half because on Weber kettle, it's only so long, and you can tell how long those are. Cut them in half, we will not have an issue. Let me season up the other one. We'll cut these in half, and we'll show us getting them on the grill. Let me get that done, just real quick. You can see I've got a good hot fire going. Guys, I'm gonna set these off to the side right now. Whoo, good sizzle. That lid's been on there nice and tight, so guys, it, it's hot all the way around on this thing. But, like I said, you can see we're on this Weber. I could not cook these real long ones if they were uh, the full length. That's why I cut them up. But what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to go straight over my fire right now. They already have oil on them for the marinade, so I don't have to worry about that. And I am just going to uh, tighten them up right there. Scrunch them together, that helps hold that moisture in. And guys, this hot fire, it's not gonna take long at all to cook these. These cook really, really fast. They are not made to be a long cook at all. You can see we got a on that side. And I'm gonna move these to the other side and let them finish cooking. 
once I've kind of seared them off. Uh, if I had fire all over the entire uh, kettle, then you know what, we could just lay them across it, right? But I already had the slow and sear in it. I just added some charcoal to it and lit it up so we wouldn't have to worry about uh, taking everything out today. So we're still using that slow and sear kind of, of an offset mode, right? And you can see it's starting to shrink up some, but we're going to move it over. Let it go. I'm going to get that next piece on there right there try to scrunch it together just like we did the other one flip this one back over it is cooking good look at that Guys, this is asada, carne asada, is really what this is. Fajitas are kind of a Texas name for these. We are cooking the asada. The person that's doing it is the asador. That one's looking pretty good. Flip this one over. See how it's going? There you go. Look at that. These are looking pretty. And these others, I'm just keeping close. See where I'm keeping them close to the fire? They're not going to burn, right? They're off of the fire, but they are still catching some of that radiant heat off of there. Looking pretty. Guys, those are looking pretty good. And again, we don't want to overcook these. About two, three minutes really on each side on this hot fire is going to be plenty. Don't want to really go past medium. Medium rare is okay. But don't take them past medium. You start drying them out, toughening them up. But those are looking good, so we are fixing to get those off. We'll let them rest, and then we will show you how we do our uh, zucchini squash to go with these. Those fajitas or skirt steaks are coming up to temperature. I'm gonna go over here, look in my uh, new air refrigerator, get out the zucchini. I've already got them sliced up. You, it's easy, you'll see how I did that. But uh, put a little season on them, get those on the grill. About the time we pull that uh, skirt steak off. As you can see, what I did was I cut each end off of my zucchini and then I just quartered them lengthways. So I got those, they've been in the same marinade, not for very long, just right before I put them in the fridge when we came out here, threw some of the same marinade on them. They've been in there. And I'm just gonna toss them in there. What that's gonna do is, it's helping all the stick. It's going to help the seasoning stick to these. So y'all should be able to see this on the overhead camera. But uh, just has a little bit in there. You can see where they're kind of sticky. Use whatever seasoning you want. If, it, if you're doing this, something besides Mexican, then use your favorite barbecue rub. If you're on the diet, be careful. Do not use uh, a rub that's got a lot of sugar in it, right? Try to stay away from those sugars. But you can just come in here and sprinkle that fajita season up on top of them. If you want to do it back on the skin, more than welcome to do it that way also. But we are fixing to get these on the grill, guys. Going to put some grill marks on them. And believe it or not, these go very good inside of a tortilla. I'm just going to take my zucchini. I'm going to start off skin side down. Get them up on top of this uh, nice hot fire on the slow and sear. Guys, we're just going to take these so they start getting tender. I don't want them mushy. I want them just, uh, say, a little bit past crisp tender. I really don't want them crisp, but I do want them tender. So, they're going on. Uh, my marinade, which you can find the recipe down below in the description box. And uh, Bolner's Fiesta brand fajita seasoning. Some of it kind of got washed off. So let's just go ahead and do a light coating back on here again. Just, uh, rolling around in that uh, marinade, some of them came off. So there it is, ready to go. Let them cook, and then I'll turn them to one side. And 
we'll let that side go for a little while. There we go. Let those go. I'm going to go about three minutes. Put the lid back on. Let's check our uh, squash here. Oh, yeah. See those? Start to get some marks on them. That's what we want. I'm going to go all the way over. We just turn them that way and put them on the other side. Get those char marks there. Ooh, that is real charred. Yep, that one's real charred. But. That won't hurt, they'll be okay. Guys, when I pick these up, I want them to wilt just a little bit. See that, it's starting to wilt, it's starting to hang some. That's kind of what you want. So I'm gonna move it off. These, that when I pick them up kind of in the middle, if they look like they're starting to kind of wilt, like that one, I'm gonna get it off there. Let's take our fajitas out here, guys. Now remember, here is our grains of our meat. It's going this way, so we don't want to slice them this way. That's your natural way to want to do it. But I promise you, don't do it that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it right there. Okay, take a look at that. Medium, medium rare. Where you want these and slice them thinly long ways. Look at that, nice and juicy. They've been resting for a while while we cooked our uh, zucchinis but that is a good looking beef fajita without a doubt slice this one again look in here it's a thicker end it's gonna be a little closer to medium rare down here in this thick part slicing them thin and across the grain guys always across the grain so those are ready for a taco. Guys, let's get some of our zucchini out of here, see if it's ready. Go ahead and give this a try. Great, did you see how that came apart, guys? That's <laughs> great. You know she was out here the whole time of filming. Eating time, sampling time, all the help starts showing up immediately. We're gonna we're gonna make some tacos, and guys, what I'm gonna use is tecama. So if you're on the diet uh, or you're just trying to watch your carbs, I buy these sliced tecamas, and they work kind of like a wrap. You can use a lettuce wrap if you can't find sliced tecama. People that are on the diet, my wife and son, they're gonna they're gonna do flour tortillas, but I'm gonna use jicama for mine. So I'm gonna make a a couple of tacos from that, a couple of tacos out of uh, tortillas. Let's put these together and see how they look. Since the wife's out here, I'll make hers first. But nice uh, flour tortilla. Guys, we're going to go on here with just a couple of strips of uh, fajita. And then I'm going to come back inside with a strip of zucchini. Nothing wrong with putting that zucchini right in your tacos and having it that way. If you dried your fajitas out, moistens up the whole taco, right? So anyways, that's gonna go in there. Uh, guacamole, she loves avocado, so plenty of guacamole for her. And on top, some fresh uh, pico de gallo. Pick it up where I spilt it there. But that's a pretty good looking taco right there. Sweetheart, you wanna come in here and try this? I'm gonna let her try it, and then I'll make one of the jicama for me. Hey, oh dear. Notice how tender? Awesome. Good? Like it? Yeah. Good nice. deal. Nice and tender. She's going to head off camera now. I'm going to show you how I do one with the uh, the jicamas. Just going to take it and, and jicamas are root. So it goes there. I can come back with my uh, fajita meat. Right? Two strips of meat. I'm on the diet. So no uh, guacamole for me. Plenty of that. I can't have the squash. So, a jicama, fajita, squash, taco. Give that a try. Tell you what, folks, if you can get hold of some jicama, they work great for tacos. They, you can use them in dip. You can fry them up. Do a lot of different things with them. Fantastic Texas beef fajitas. 
with some grilled zucchini if you're on the Roger Raglan diet. Give the jicama a try. If you can't find jicama, go ahead and uh, just use you some lettuce and make your lettuce wrap out of these. The rest of the family can have their tacos. You can have your lettuce wrap, but we're going to get the pounds off. Uh, I know I do. I've been creeping back up again, but it's coming back down once again. It's just, hey, it's a battle. If you're on that diet, guys, it is a battle, and we have to watch our weight the rest of our lives because it's easy for us to creep back up to where we were, and I'm not going to let that happen. I know you're not either. So thanks for stopping by Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. Always do appreciate it. Hey, folks, uh, check out RogerRaglan.com. Uh, you can go there and see his diet. And uh, check out my other videos. I'll put some links for my other fajita videos on there. And I'll also put a link for my pico de gallo and my guacamole. My daughter and I are making those. So if you go and look, you can see it's one of my first videos. They were early on. So uh, you can see me in the rookie stages of making uh, videos back then. But my daughter's helping make those two dishes. So I'll put a link to you for guacamole and pico de gallo so that you can try it and make it just like I do here on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Thanks for stopping by. Always do appreciate it. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. We're going to see you all down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.